Hey everybody, this is Paige from Mosaic Moments, and today I am introducing you to the Dots Frame dies. There's two different sizes. This is the four dots frame that is four by six squares on the grid paper. And this set also comes with the two by two size, so that's great, so you can put something in the center of your layout. It comes with this extra piece so you can fill in this smaller space easier. And it comes with four dot dies so that way you don't have to roll the entire large die in the machine if you want to get little dots. There is also the option of the three by five die. This is the three dots frame die set. It also comes with an extra piece to help you fill in that small space easier. And it comes with three dots so you can cut those dots much easier. For today's demo, I will not be using the 3x5 size, although I will show a couple of examples with that die. But I will be using this 4x6 size for my layout today, but my layout today can apply to either size. So let's go ahead and get started. To use these dies, you will of course need a die machine. I'm using the Sizzix Big Shot. And just now I placed a piece of paper on the plate and it's a little bit bigger than my die. I also have my die placed in at an angle. We find placing our dies at an angle helps the cutting because it distributes the pressure of the machine much easier. So we find you get better cuts this way rather than if you put it straight through. Now for my first piece, I want to save the actual frame piece so I don't need these extra pieces. So what I need to get out is this frame. And if you can't get it out, what you can do is use your tweezers and poke it through one of these holes on the side. And then very carefully take it out of the frame. And this is a pretty thin die, so you really want to be careful with this one. It is really big, so take your time and it is a very big die, so you don't need very many cuts. For my layout today, I will be cutting with this die four times. So thankfully, there's not too many cuts to get through when you need to pull that out. So here is the cut. All right, once you have all your frame dies cut, the next step is to glue the back of each one. Take your time and be careful as you glue it down. It's very helpful if there's lots of glue in your dispenser so it glides a lot easier. I'm using the Herma Dotto, but many people have their own way of gluing down the dies. So if you have any suggestions for that, you are welcome to leave them in the comments below. And now I'm going to place my die on the grid paper. And I'm just going to do a basic pinwheel pattern today, so I'll have four of them rotating around the layout. Keep in mind it is a very thin die, so place it on the grid lines very carefully. Make sure that left and top grid lines are completely covered. And of course the other lines will be covered up with your photos or paper when you fill in the frame. So again, take your time. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick down my other frames. This is, like I said before, this is a very thin die, so take your time and make sure the grid lines are covered. There may be some slight warping, which I find when you start placing the stuff that goes inside the frame that can help with the, straighten that out. But if you need, you can create a base piece with the 4x6 die in set B, and that'll help strengthen your frame. That might be helpful if you're using a an adventure level die for the first time especially. All right, here is the final layout design. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned I would show a couple of examples with the three by five three dots frame. And this one was done by Tammy Potter and she just filled each frame with one photo. So the dots section are completely filled with one photo also. So that's one way to do to kind of changes up the look of your photos. So that's a really easy option. And this layout was created by designer Jody, And I loved how she placed the words fun and sun in those three or yeah, the three dots on each die. And she also filled in each one with just one photo as well. And those words kind of break up the photo in a fun way. So these are two ideas you can do with the three by five size. 
All right, I'm gonna start cutting my photos with the dot frame. And just a note for this size, you will need a five by seven photo. That uh, part on that's on the right here, that section, that's the biggest section. It's too wide for a four inch photo. So this does require a five by seven photo, just so you are aware. So for this layout, I am using five by seven photos, which I know some of you really love and you print those out, but some of you may need to prepare for that. So just so you know, it does use five by seven and I have it. So my subject, this is my sister, by the way, when she turned 18 and she, I have her in the larger part of the die frame and then I have the balloons on the other side. And I really wanted a photo where there was something interesting going on on that far left side. And then the dots are gonna be filled with something different. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to, or two different ideas for this die. So a couple of the frames are gonna basically filled with one photo. And again, I wanted photos where you would see something like the balloons on one side so that it wasn't boring on the smaller side. So I think this will be a fun frame for these photos. All right, so now I'm gonna take the smaller side out like now. You can see there's balloons over there and then I'm gonna take out the larger side all right, so I will use these two photos to fill in one of the frames. And I'm going to do the same thing with this other photo. Again, I made sure there was a photo where the balloons were also on the very right side of the photo. So that way there was something interesting on that smaller side of the frame. I wanted both sides to have something interesting, which in this case, your main subjects are probably not gonna be on both sides unless you use two, two different photos, which is also an option if you don't wanna use just one photo. So that's what's nice about this frame is you can fit more photos if you want to. And pretty much I cut it the same way as before and I'm just gonna save the larger piece and the smaller piece. All right, there are two more photos I need to cut, but this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different. And I'm just going to place my main subjects in the biggest part because on the bottom, there's just this grass. So that's not very interesting. Although what's nice about this is you don't have to worry about the frame covering your entire photo. You can see my die sticks past the photo and that's okay because I only need the one portion, the larger portion of the frame. And again, this is nice if you have a photo where on the smaller side anyway, there's not much going on. Like maybe you have a blank sky or maybe it's just grass and there's nothing interesting. And when that's the case, you could just put your photo through the bigger side. So just now I saved that side of my photo. And I'm gonna do the same thing again with another one here. This one's gonna be a tighter cut. So I checked on the back to make sure that the the cutting part is gonna go through the photo and won't stick out further and cut it too short by accident. So I just made it with this one. <laughs> and again, well, I don't wanna chop her off in an awkward way, so I could have had the whole photo fit, but the top portion would have had less of her and that blank, you know, the sky doesn't have anything interesting going on. So again, this is a good technique to do if you have some parts of your photo that are kind of boring and not very interesting. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you what I fill in the smaller with the smaller section. All right, I'm gonna use my extra die here to cut some pattern paper. So if you don't have a photo that can fit into this smaller space like I did, or, or really you like pattern paper and want something decorative on your layout, this is a fun option. So remember the first two photos, I have the whole photos pretty much, or filling the frames with pretty much all photo. 
And then the two other photos, I have the larger portion of the frame is going to have the photos and then the smaller portion is going to have this pattern paper. I mainly picked it because, you know, it was pink. It went with the colors and it has that gold in there, which I really love that in paper for some reason. So that'll be cute and fun for my layouts. Next, I'm cutting with the circles and I'm just using plain pink paper but I'm also gonna be cutting with the circles again to cut some of that pattern paper as well. But you can detach these circles, but I kinda of like keeping them together because they're really small and can, and can get lost. But as you can see, it's a fast and easy way to cut out all four circles if you need to. So I had some extra white paper from one of my cuts to cut the frame piece and of course, there's plenty of room to cut it with the 2x2 two two die, so that's something to keep in mind. You don't necessarily want to throw those out really quickly. Of course, you know, if you're like me, you want to save up as much paper as you can anyway, and that's a big chunk of paper you can reuse. But here's the 2x2 two two die, and that'll be really nice for the page. All right, the next step is to glue your photos in the frames, which is really exciting when you get to that part. And I'm carefully gluing around each corner here and some in the middle. And of course, you can just stick that right in. So that'll look really good. And then I have the larger piece over here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Got some in the middle and around the corners. And I'll stick that in as well. And it looks really nice. So that was just one photo filling in the frame except for the four dots. And I think that looks really good. I like how the four, dot, the four dots kind of break it apart. Now I'm going to fill in the rest of my frames with my photographs here. So this is one of the ones where it's just going to be that larger portion. And of course, if you need, as I said earlier, sometimes when you start placing in the the photos and paper inside the frame, it can kind of help straighten out the actual frame piece if it got a little bit warped. So I do that quite a bit because they're, they're pretty thin. All right, I have the smaller piece here and now I'm done filling in my frames with the photos and I think it looks really nice. Now I'm just gonna place in my pattern paper make sure I didn't get it mixed up there <laughs> and again I'm just gluing along each corner and in the middle so I'll place that inside the smaller portion here and I love that gold it makes it a little more shiny and fun all right I'm getting this second piece and so that's it and these dies are so big they're really not there really is not a lot of cuts you have to fill in and now I need to fill in all those dots. So I did cut some of the dots with the pattern paper. I decided to put that into the sections where it's mostly photo. So that way the pattern paper is balanced on the page and wraps around the page. So I think that'll be really fun. All right, and then I have the cardstock pink here that I'm going to fill in the other spaces. And I didn't want to fill in these areas with the pattern paper because I thought that might, you know, look a little too busy. And I'm going to be placing words on those dots and it would be much easier to read them on the cardstock rather than the pattern paper. And what's nice about this die is that you have four dots so you can fit in lots of four letter words. I have 18th year, but you can also fill it with words such as love, or home, or you can actually fill in the year. Like this was, I believe this was the year 2016, so I could have put that in there as well. So any four letter word will, will work. Tammy Potter, who designed these, actually wanted this particular frame because she wanted a way to fit in four letter words. So that'll be really nice to add into these dots. Now I'm gonna place in the middle so to make things easier, I just went ahead and cut the pattern paper with the two by two die from set A as the background. And now I'm gonna glue on the two by two die, which I used the Xyron Create a Sticker Machine Mini to add the adhesive to this one. 
And I was not going to do this initially, but I felt like this middle section was a little bit too busy with the pattern paper, so I decided to fill in all the little corners with the pink cardstock. And I also felt like the pattern paper didn't stand out as much with it filling in the whole background, so I think these little pink cardstock pieces will fill that in or will help that stand out much easier. Of course, if I had realized I wanted to fill it in with the pink cardstock, I would have had the pink cardstock as the background and then put the pattern paper and the circles. That would have been much faster and easier. But this is a close up of that center section. I think it looks really nice and ties the whole layout together. All right, we have reached the end of today's demo. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the dots frame dies. If you don't think you'll print too many 5x7s, you can always use the 3x5 3 dots frame instead. Again, you can do pretty much the same techniques with that one as this larger one that I showed today. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, this demo, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be updated on more demos when they come out. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.